One of our favorite drills to do that is the partial Turkish getup. So, for the partial Turkish getup, we're going to have the right hand stabilizing the kettlebell, right leg is going to be bent to 90 degrees and off the hip about 45 degrees to the side, left leg slightly out to the side, left hand, we're going to go down on the ground. If that's uncomfortable on the shoulder, you can roll it off onto the side, whatever is more comfortable on the shoulder. As we're holding this kettlebell, we want to make sure that we don't have any additional tension. He's nice and loose right now, which is great. Can move his neck around. That's a good checkpoint. Keeping a firm grip on the kettlebell, we're going to roll our right shoulder towards our left elbow and push the kettlebell towards the ceiling in one smooth motion. Again, when he gets to the top, he should have a completely free neck. No tension is pushed into that shoulder. He's not collapsing. He's thinking about extending and making himself long. A good cue for that is turning your armpit open, not leaving it closed where that trap can jerk up into the neck. Turn that armpit open, and then we're just gonna come down the same way we came up, under control. The entire time we're thinking about keeping that kettlebell as far away from us as possible. Try to create that movement in one smooth, controlled motion. Boom, and then control down. Awesome, we are gonna hit that anywhere between three to eight reps on each side, anywhere from one to three sets. Again, if you find one side is more difficult than the other, you know where your imbalance is, attack it, try to improve that side. Focus on doing less with quality before we aim to do more with quantity. Good job.